obviously on a short week here, but after looking at the tape from yesterday, just continues to be clear that we did some things that are going to make it really hard to win versus a good team, a good football team. So I got to give credit to that outfit, uh, the coaches, the players. And then, uh, you know, we just got to identify and correct. That, that's week one. We're already into week two, but we got to make sure with the players that we identify some things that we can do better, correct them uh, so that we don't make some of those same mistakes again. On the injury front, uh, so JC made it out okay, uh, sore, but made it, just made it through just fine. Uh, X-rays on Jed were negative, he's sore. And then with Jacob Phillips and David Njoku still gathering information on those guys. And then the guys that are were in the on the injury report prior, Greedy, Kevin Johnson, Chris, will just keep uh, will update you as the week progress, progresses on them. But they're doing a nice job in their rehab. Uh, so with that, I'll take any questions. Thanks, Coach. Our first question will come from Tom Withers. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Coach. Hey, Coach, I'm sure there's a lot you have on, on the list of things to work on. What what's at the top of it right now? I think, Tom, we when we play football games, you know, you identify things that you have to do to win. And, and I go back to you're playing a good football team. You're going to play really good teams almost every week here. Uh, but turning the ball over, winning that turnover margin is huge as it relates to winning and losing. Some of the penalties were just killer for us. And, and that's just not the type of things you can do and expect to win. Also, you know, you talked yesterday, you don't want to use any excuses, and I'm sure you don't want to overreact as well. Is that is that part of maybe the message? I know you want to get things accomplished with your players, but you also stress to them that that was one of 16. Yeah, we talked about that yesterday, Tom. Uh, we got a game here on Thursday, so they better fl they flushed it yesterday, to be honest with you. We're, we're, we're moving on. Uh, while saying that, we'll still identify and correct those things that we got to get better at, but we are moving on. Scott Petrick, you have our next question. Hey, Kevin, yesterday you said you wanted to go back and watch your film before you gave kind of a breakdown of Baker. So after watching it, um, what were your impressions? Yeah, I thought, you know, what I say about Baker really could stand for everybody. Just inconsistent. We just uh, and put the coaching in there as well. Uh, we just, in a bunch of different areas, we can get better. Uh, Baker had some really good moments, some moments that I know he wants back. Uh, but I, I'm not pinning uh, blame on any one person. I think we all share in that, and that starts with me. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Mary Kay Cabot, you're up. When when you watched it over again, did it seem like he was forcing the ball to Odell, or was he, for the most part, going to the right place uh, with the ball at that time? Yeah, Mary Kay, I don't think he was forcing the ball. Uh, we didn't connect, obviously, as much as we would like to. I think it's a combination of things, uh, and, and you got to really start with them, give them credit. They made some plays, a couple balls I'm sure Baker wants back, a couple routes I'm sure Odell wants back. Uh, but that, that's the nature of, of this thing. We just got to make sure we work real hard this week and then get out there Thursday night and put our best foot forward. You see hope for those two kind of pulling it together even quickly? Definitely. Thanks. Thank you, Mary Kay. Jake Trotter, you have our next question. Yeah, Kevin. Um... What are your impressions of Joe Burrow so far? Uh, did you scout him at all before this season? And then I, I assume you've had a chance to, to take at least a preliminary look at his debut yesterday. Yeah, really good young player. Obviously had as good a college career, as good a year as you can have. Um, a special player. You saw in that touchdown, uh, he's got great movement skills. He can make all the throws. So we got our work cut out for us. Nate Ulrich, you're up. Hey, Coach, will you guys be making a kicking change or are you going to stick with Seibert for Thursday? I think with all the roster uh, moves, Nate, we'll just wait to gather more information and then we'll we'll let it go from there. And with Wills, you said he's sore. Uh, do you expect him to be good to go for the Bengals game? I, I'd say too early to tell on that for a lot of these guys. You know, you're, you're just coming off the game. And, and so we really got to see how it plays out over the next couple of days. Fred Greetham, we'll go to you. Hey, Coach, your running game, your top two guys averaged 5.7. You know, they had 100, what, 132 yards. Is that something you can build on? Is that just the case of the game just got out of hand? You had to give it up? Yeah, you know, I think we let it get out of the hand there. Uh, and I think the, the sequence at the end of the half there, 
as everybody knows, it, it, we let it get away, we let that game get away from us. And once it was away, it's hard to go to the run. But uh, you know, it's hard to be encouraged by something when 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 you lost like we did. But I, I do think there's things that we can build on and learn from. Kimberly Martin will have her next question. Hey, Coach, is there anything that you did like? We're talking about a lot of negatives, but is there anything on film that stood out that said, okay, we at least did that well? Yeah, I mean, it's it's the National Football League, so there's going to be the, the ups and downs in every game. There's rhythms to every game. Uh, again, I, I, I just mentioned that, that sequence at the end of the half there. Uh, we got to do a better job. Uh, I, I have a hard time not giving credit to Baltimore. They did, they did a nice job, okay? But there are things that we can do, uh, things that we can clean up, and hopefully that gives us a better chance moving forward. Aditi Kinkabala, we'll go to you next. How about, um, good morning, and how about the mechanics of everything yesterday? I mean, it was your first game as head coach. It was your first game being the play caller for this outfit. How did all of that work out? Yeah, I thought the communication was fine, Aditi, uh, between the coaches, myself, the, the players, everybody on the sideline. I, th I think that was smooth. Thank you, Aditi. Ellis Williams, you're up. Hey, Coach. Um, on Baker's interception pre-snap, it appeared he had off coverage to his left, and then the Ravens dropped into you know an exotic quarters, dropping Clay's Campbell that way. Um, is that an interception you can live with Baker throwing, or – is he should he have been able to come off that read uh, at the snap of the ball? Not many inter interceptions you can live with. Uh, we can coach off that tape. Uh, I will say this: every interception you can learn from. Uh, we can coach off of that. There was a the they did a nice job, but but we can certainly do better on that rep. Back to Scott Patrick. Hey Kevin, when it comes to Odell. Do you feel like you're still trying to figure out the best ways to use him? I think we got a pretty good feel for Odell and his skill set. I mean, he's a talented football player, so it's our job to put him in position to make plays. Uh, are we going to learn about him and, and what he's comfortable with, what, what we're comfortable with throughout the season? Yes. So, so that'll grow. But uh, I think we have a pretty good sense of it right now. And you've talked a lot about players, not plays. So at some point yesterday when he didn't have a catch, did you say, okay, now we got to figure out a way to involve Odell? Well, I just look at it in, in that way, Scott. He, he's a good football player, so we want him to touch the ball. I think that's good for us. So we're mindful of, of all of our players in terms of how they're touching it. There were opportunities early where, where the coverage took it away or, or somebody else was open, those type of things. Um, but he, he's a good football player, so I don't think it's – uh, newsworthy that he's a focal point of our offense. Mary Kay, your line should be open. Uh, yeah, Coach, af after a game like that, uh, you know, who had maybe the best piece of advice, best word of encouragement, or, or you know, just any little something, someone that might have reached out to you after that last night? Yeah, I think that's uh, the nice part, Mary Kay. I have a bunch of strong people in my corner. Uh, I don't get too high or too low, so uh, but I do appreciate when people send messages, uh, win, lose, or draw. So uh, uh, I'll keep that between me and them. But I, I will tell you, listen, this is a long season. We're, we're one game into this, and and the best thing we got is is a game coming up here Thursday night. Thanks, Tony Grossi. You have our next question. Hey, Kevin. Uh, last night you weren't uh, you wouldn't elaborate on the fake punt. It, it was an important play. Could you elaborate on what was uh, going through your mind since you're responsible for that play? Yeah, you got it. Uh, I think any play like that, Tony, uh, it, I am fully responsible uh, for. And I'll just tell you, we were trying to maximize possessions in that game. Uh, so when there's times that it calls to be aggressive, we're going to be aggressive. And there's going to be times where it doesn't call for that. So. It didn't work. Uh, I know we get hung up on the result, and, and we should. Uh, but but we'll we'll learn from it, and and we'll make sure that we continue to put our team in the best position to succeed. But you're you're absolutely right. Uh, that that buck stops with me on, on that type of call. And you referred uh, earlier about uh, uh, getting the ball in uh, Odell's hands. Was there a conversation in the locker room that we? We need to do that. And did you, you, you threw six times to him on that third uh, quarter series. 
Um, was it a concerted effort or is that just where the reads were taken, Baker? It really wasn't, Tony. Uh, it's just kind of where the reads took them. We got a couple of penalties out of it, uh, but just that, that was where the reads took them. Jay Trotter, back to you. Hey, Kevin, how do you uh, feel like your offensive line played? And then and do you want to get Austin Hooper more involved in the passing game than he was yesterday? Yeah, I think on the offensive line, solid. Uh, you know, the, the run game numbers would lead you to believe that we had some success there. Protection, by and large, was pretty good. Uh, and then, yeah, Austin, he, he's going to be a big part of this offense. I think we so often get wrapped up in one game or two games, and I think you really have to check in after – four games, eight games to see where everybody's uh, role uh, fits in. Aditi Hinkabala, you have our next question. I know that you say that there are no excuses here, but there's also, you have measuring sticks. So you look at the Ravens who were very successful a year ago, have a ton of continuity. You're all fairly new and you're not coming off quite the same success. When you look, do you think of all those other mitigating factors or does it feel like you're really very, very far apart? Uh, Didi, I just think we, we played a really good football team yesterday. Credit to them. Uh, I think very highly of their players and their coaching staff. We have good players and good coaches here too. Uh, so they got us yesterday and, and I think we'll, uh, we'll learn from it and hopefully we're uh, ready to roll this Thursday. I think if I could add, this is sort of kind of like how Kimberly was asking. Coaches like to say that football is a game of inches. Do you really feel like, you know, if Odell catches that third and two and you're suddenly inside the 20 and you score right there and it's 17, 13, maybe the game is totally different. Like, was it just inches or does it still feel like we're a few games from really seeing how we measure up? I mean, yes, this game is a game of inches. Uh, that's why we love it because the, these teams are so close to each other. Uh, that game got away from us. You know, it's hard to say it was a close game because it wasn't. Uh, the final score didn't indicate that. But uh, it's our job to make sure that we look at those little things, those game, those plays of inches, and make sure we find a way to make them next time we're uh, presented with them. Tom Weathers, your line is open. Thank you, Rob. Hey, Coach, your back seven is pretty banged up on defense. Um, Lamar had some some open receivers yesterday. How much of that was? execution and how much could you chalk that up to maybe some inexperience yeah a combination of all those things tom but uh i don't want to sound like a broken record but hat tip to that offense to lamar jackson he made some incredible plays yesterday as, as you probably would expect but uh focus goes on what we can do better and we've already thought uh, you know talked about some of those things uh, some of those schemes we, we can we can be better in our technique we can be better in our calls all of that because we will see that team again um so we got to make sure that we uh iron that stuff up and i know you mentioned updates on the injuries are you optimistic about greedy being back thursday uh, hard to say honestly uh day to day so I, I really can't pinpoint either way scott patrick your line's open Kevin, if you look at just the stat sheet um miles didn't have much of an impact did the Ravens do something to take him kind of out of the game? Uh, I don't. I don't think necessarily. I mean, they're every team we play is going to be very mindful of, of Miles Garrett, so they'll they'll have a plan for him. But uh, we we expect big things from him. I think Miles expects big things from himself. So the uh, good news is we got a game on Thursday. Thank you, Scott. Nate over. Hey, Coach. Um, Obviously, Ronnie Harrison only played a couple snaps with a short week. Can you get him in there Thursday for, in, to, to be a, a significant contributor? And just from the, you know, outside, you know, looking at this, I don't, I don't know what, what you and your staff have discussed, but it seemed like Andrew Sandeo had a, a rough game. Um, I don't know if, what you think of, of that assessment, if you think it's fair and and he's a guy, obviously, you know well. So I'm, you know, asking about the safeties as it relates to Harrison. Yeah, I think Ronnie uh, is somebody that that we're we're finding out more about, seeing what he can take on. Obviously, a guy that that, that we like, we uh, want to include him and involve him. Uh, but as it relates to Andrew or really any of the defensive guys, I mean, w none of us played well enough. Uh, I think there's all things that we can clean up. Um, and, and I, I can't pinpoint one guy over the other, but uh, I think we're, we're trending. We, we have guys that, that we feel good about 
so if we can just make sure that we clean up these mistakes, whether it be technique, schematic, whatever they are, we'll, we'll feel better about ourselves uh, this week. Mary Kay, your line is open. Hey, uh, Coach, uh, specifically, how did Jed grade out? Uh, maybe not, you know, the grade per se, but how did Jed Wills do in his debut at left tackle? Yeah, I, I thought Jedrick was was good. Uh, you know, can always be better. There, there's some things that we want to clean up with him technique wise, but uh, I would say it was solid first outing. Mary Kay, did you have a follow up? No, no, it's okay. All right, BJ Ziegler. Kevin, I'm just curious, um, what was your expectations going in as the uh, first time head coach having not only to manage the game, but also uh, manage and, and call plays on offense? And then what was the biggest thing you learned or will take away now from this first game moving forward? Yeah, I was comfortable with, with the mechanics of it. We had really good communication on the headsets with the offensive coaches, defensive coaches. Uh, we got to build off of it. There's always some things that we can do better. Uh, there's always things that I'm pointing the finger right at me immediately and saying, what can I do better? And, and that'll start, uh, you know, we have those conversations today and then we hope to apply those lessons learned uh, as we move forward.